paint now. Keep it up, everyone. Now, if you want to support uh, Games Done Quick in other ways, we do have t-shirts for this marathon. They, we, from the Yeti, supporting Games Done Quick events since 2012. They're the official merch, they're an official merch sponsor for Games Done Quick. And you can get official Summer Games Done Quick tees and more at theyeti.com. And if you want to see all the tees for this marathon, there is theyeti.com slash SGDQ. And for those of you who want to know how to spell Yeti, it is Y-E-T-E-E. -E -E. Okay, it looks like we are ready for our next run, Mega Man 9 featuring the Blacktastic. <laughs> right. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Holy. We got, you a, got, we got a fan house here. <laughs> well, uh, before Just we get on to like, me and like, the actual content, aka the game, let's uh, have a little roll call on the couch. Right. I'm, I'm Slurpee Ninja. I'm Proto Magical Girl. And this, this game is my namesake. This, this and is, I am Bobby. And since you know my real name now, we're kind of pretty much like just, friends already. So just call him Bobby. <laughs> just please just call, call me Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. So since you guys are all my friends now, um, I'm going to ask a really quick favor for you guys. And I'm going to ask for you to count down from five. Can you do that for me? You can do that. Cool. You ready? All right. Ready? Ready to start from five, five. four, four, three. Two, one, Proto! <laughs> so this is Proto Man 9. It is a bonus sure. DLC mode in Mega Man 9 where you get to play as Proto Man. We are going to be starting Tornado first. This is a little different than the route you might be used to if you've seen Mega Man 9. What's really cool about the Proto Man mode, among many, many other things, you get Coil and Rush Jet right from the get-go, which makes this vertical platforming in Proto Man's or in Tornado Man stage really easy and really fast. You can do stuff like this. Isn't that cool? I think that's pretty cool. That's, that's pretty super cool. cool. <laughs> Uh, so in addition to those differences, Proto Man can slide, which is real nice, real fast. And Proto Man has a super cool shield, which will pro deflect certain projectiles from the front whenever you're walking or jumping. Which can be more of a hindrance at times. Sometimes. Yeah. Um, but the drawback for all of these cool things that Proto Man gets is that he takes twice as much damage and gets twice as much knockback. So this mode is really hard, especially as a casual player. Nice it's little very, damage boost through it's there. It's very easy for things to just equip you and knock you into a pit. Yeah. That Mega Man would ordinarily not And get use Rush Jet to sneak through there. Yeah, this first stage is a lot of very dense maneuvering through enemies. Uh, then we get this wind gimmick here. So the wind's only pushing you when you're in the air. So in the sections where the wind is pushing us backwards like this, we're going to be on the ground sliding as much as possible. Those one Later box in this slides right there. Ooh. One tile slides, yeah. Uh, later in the stage, we're going to get wind going the other way, and we want to be in the air pretty much the entire time. I believe it's pretty similar to the speed you get out of a slide, so... so look yeah, you at can either slide or jump through this area, for sure. The speed here is just wonderful. Awesome. And you, and you saw how Bobby uh, charged earlier? That was because uh, when you're sliding, your charge fills up much slower than when you're actually jumping in the air. So... Really important. So this is Tornado Man. Tornado Man likes to stick his fist in the air and uh, make tornadoes and occasionally jump like that. Uh, this buster fight can be pretty technical depending on what Tornado Man decides to do. Ideally, we want him to just chill out on the ground, but that's almost never the case. And we are good yeah. with that health. I mean, I wasn't worried at all because this is Bobby. <laughs> just call him Bobby. Call him Bobby. So a little bit of a bit about the uh, speedruns uh, sort of history. Uh, the long-standing world record about half a decade ago was by a guy named Agawaf, and he used a completely different route. Yeah, he um, went splash he, first. Yeah, he ran splash first because uh, it had an, an innate weakness. You're you're able to do uh, double the damage with the Buster um, just natively. However, um, since we're doing uh, the tornado blow route, we're able to add a whole bunch of new strats and with the extra utility that you get of the T blow. Um, we're not going to be um, we're not going to be showing it off here since that is uh, Magma Man's weakness and we're saving it for that boss. But later on in the stages, you'll see just how uh, useful the Tornado Blow is. It, over the whole run, it saves about half a minute, so uh, it's quite significant. Oh! <laughs> that was 
That was the new kind of strat that we're working on. <laughs> RNG manipulation. That's setting up the Magma Man fight to be really good. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge, Magma Man. Hopefully we get those double hits. Por favor. See, actually, this stage is very tight movement. You want your slides to be perfect, especially in the in the screen after this one. So uh, he's going to have to do about five five slides in succession to get through this like very tight Magma Beam area. These things can kill you in one hit, so you have to be really careful. Nice, got him. Dang, smooth. So the very first bo uh, mini boss of the game is going to be the Chanky Dragon. Every boss, uh, any mini boss in this game has about 15 HP. Uh, he's a little bit tricky to get on the second rep since uh, Proto Man actually has a lower buster. Yeah, that's I, I do this fight with uh, two tornadoes, but Bobby does it with just buster, so. With, with two tornadoes, you can one cycle them, but also there's a switch involved, so it's a little bit slower. A thing worth noting there is that five tile gap, I believe it's five, uh, that Bobby just slid over in the screen before this one. It's those dangerous. Are, <laughs> those are really tricky. With Mega Man, those gaps are ridiculously hard. We get it a little easier because Proto Man slide allows us to kind of sneak out over the edge, get a little extra uh, out, way out. But there's something to watch out for. They can be deceptive if you're just in your muscle memory and not thinking about it. So this is the Magma Man fight. Slurpee, you want to tell us about what's happening here? Uh, wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. So, Oh. Nope, no shield. Shield's useless. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. So Magma jumps randomly, but can't give you the same jump more than three times in a row. So you kind of use that to your advantage. And um, with Tornado, you only get four Tornadoes. And so you, you saw him do a charge shot there for, for getting the right amount of damage. <laughs> the fight was over before I could even get that explanation. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's a Mega Man game, and really in all of these games, there's so much more going on than what meets the eye. I mean, with any really, really cool speed run, that's what's happening, so. Well, what's next, Slurpee? We're going on to Hornet Man stage, I believe. Yeah, this is actually one of the first stages where you actually see a little bit early on just uh, how useful the Tornado Ball can be. Um, it has a lot of utility, despite it having uh, limited shots, about four shots to a full meter. Mm -hmm. um, however, uh, it can completely wipe the screen of any small enemies, projectiles, and what have you. And also boost your jump. Well, so. There we go. Yeah, and it also boosts your jump, so jumps that you may not be able to make. Just like a slot ladder jump. Easy. Proto Man looks good in green. Doesn't he? So he's going to clear these areas, and then he's going to switch to Magma for the rest of the stage. So the mini boss in this stage, which is coming in a little bit, oh, is probably flower. what I was talking about. Our flower friend, who... He's uh, not my friend. <laughs> Well, to some of us, a friend. So the flower is going to spawn essentially randomly. We want to see the flower spawn in one of the two spots on the top, just like that. Beautiful. That's a god flower. Easy every time. We'll get to see one of those later again, so we'll see what happens. A slick damage boost. Those one block slides. Easy one block slides. Oh, yeah. Uh, Slurpee, in this game, is there any restriction on one-tile slides, something like in Mega Man 3, or...? Um, if you're in the middle of a one-tile slide and you get a, a weapon drop, then you're, you're pretty much in the pit. <laughs> but other than that, um, no, not really. All right. Like, you can freely jump out of your slide in this game, not like Mega Man 6. Just, uh, so here's the Hornet fight. Uh, Bobby's going to be using a very specific kill setup, uh, because what's really cool about this fight and this boss the weapon and the boss are practically made for each other. Three Bs, three Magma shots, works easy every time, and that is a perfect smooth fight right there. There's a lot of little design things in Mega Man 9 that I absolutely adore. They put a lot of work into crafting weapons that go with the bosses, and I think that's the most visually pleasing example. We have three mini enemies, three shots, easy, and Bobby was able to execute that smooth kill you know, without breaking a sweat. You even see, like, Proto Man's scarf blowing in the wind there. Like, such <laughs> small attention to detail. Look at the, look at the bees. They got the, they got the wings. They got the buzz. Not the bees. But not the bees. <laughs> not the bees. <laughs> Splash Woman's So next time we're going to be coming to a Splash Woman's underwater stage. Underwater bees. Best girl. And uh, mm. usually we would do this first. Um, if you're following the old route. Uh, also just because um, we have the Proto-Jet as well as the Proto-Coil, uh, which enables us to perform a kind of tricky bubble skip in the midsection of the stage. So it's just kind of easier to get that out of the way. It's, uh, a little bit. The song owns. Yeah, one of the designers of this game took Mega Man 5 as one of uh, as his um, inspiration and reused like the bubble room from Mega Man 5 in this game. But it's a little bit easier to map navigate. Yeah, but I think the, the big trick with this stage is that 
there's a lot of small enemies flying at you. You're underwater. But easy for Robbie, and let's check this out. I'm gonna oh. come on up here. Don't then put me on such a pedestal transition yet. Transition <laughs> the screen onto the jet, off the jet, and one more screen transition. Then a nice tight little jet jump there, and we are through. Very, very nice. And we're gonna be using Jet for a little more small optimization. You have these rooms here that are kind of these, uh, I guess like inkwell platforms, I'm not sure. Uh, but with ProtoJet, we can make them nice and fast. And falling down in any of these screens costs about eight seconds, so you really wanna be careful here. Yeah, in a game with no, like, I guess not no, but very, very few, uh, like, multiple screen like vertical screens, falling is always slow. So we have the Splash Woman fight coming up here. Once again, a boss designed for its weapon. Splash Woman is going to summon fish to swim across the screen, which is going to attempt to essentially distract or redirect our uh, but we're gonna, chasers. We're going to summon underwater bees. <laughs> underwater bees. So Bobby is staying precisely on Splash Woman there to Not keep the getting bees. those bees in there. Yes, the bees. <laughs> yes, the bees. Yes, the bees. <laughs> All right. <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. Continue the run. <laughs> We're going into Jewel Man stage now? Uh, no, no. We gotta, we gotta, oh, whoa, we gotta, we gotta whoa, go sorry, through another sorry. rock solid stage first. <laughs> I forgot my own route. <laughs> Concrete Man stage, yeah. <laughs> I would go into Jewel Man stage. <laughs> I mean, you are the world record holder. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. So Concrete Man stage, we're going to be coming up against another series of mini-bosses. So we're going to be using uh, the utility of the Magma Bazooka and its rapid-fire uh, uh, DPS uh, ability in order to just kind of walk through them. So we're going to switch to that like right now. This actually helps me through the second room. Shoutouts to Alec Man. Yeah, Once again, rooms like that made a lot easier with sliding. Here's some elephants. And much like Bye, all the mini-bosses in this game, they have 15 health as well, so... Yep. Three, uh, one charge and two uh, Magnus take them out. More classic Mega Man design there with three mini-bosses of increasing difficulty. Um, you know, for the second one, you didn't actually get to see it. There was a... the uh, ball was gonna do more, and then the third one had hits. Uh, this game... this game's excellent. They did such a good job. So now we have the laser trident, Splash Woman's weapon. It's going to allow us to shoot tridents like that. Um, you can shoot multiple at a time, and it's a really, really nice weapon for taking on things horizontal from you um, because it has a nice wide hitbox and moves pretty quickly. And thankfully, Concrete Man slides horizontally across the screen, so it's perfect. Good game design. But Concrete Man moves around a lot. Right, He's a big boy. And interestingly, he doesn't have a tell for whether he's going to jump in the air or slide across the screen. So you kind of want to, you, you uh, and he's already kind gone. of want to just use laser to and blast them before he does anything. Uh, we can uh, get a couple of donations in if you want. Yeah. Uh, sure thing. It seems like you have a lot of friends, Bobby, because <laughs> we have fifty dollars from Sturmy, who says, "Shout out to the nicest guy in both the FGC and speedrunning, Bobby, aka." A the Black Tastic. <laughs> I believe that is the the Black Tastic. Thank you. <laughs> the the just call me Bobby Black Tastic. <laughs> we have two hundred fifty dollars from Dracula Lantern, who says, "Have a good Galaxy Man, Bobby." Hashtag scones. You know, speaking of Galaxy Man, we were supposed to actually head there uh, instead of Joel Man, but let's uh let's 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 see where this will take us. So we were, yes. Neither of us knows the route. <laughs> Get it. Nice little lip jump there. That is excellent. Yeah, With Proto Man slide, that room is really easy because you can sneak through. And here uh, you see the uh, tornado starting to really come into fruition for this run, so really helping with the movement there. This boss Whoops. is neat. Oh. Summon some bees. You have a boss that's hidden, we'll use the chasing weapon to get it. Easy. Um, so coming up after this is the worst, worst screen in the game. In the game. <laughs> Those enemies are huge jerks. Uh, and then have a nice long screen, a bunch of pits here. Uh, this kind of swinging platform gimmick is unique to Jewel Man stage and more challenging than it looks to deal with. And then they give you this room. I swear, that's harder than it looks. Bobby's just really good. Mm -hmm. 
So Am normally, I? yeah, you'd have Black Hole Bomb to uh, get through this area, but uh, because we did a slight route detour, <laughs> not sure how this is gonna go. But yeah, yeah, we had all our you, commentary. You, you told me, mate. <laughs> you got this. We had all our commentary this. prepared for this fight, but I mean, we don't have the right weapon, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you see the double damage coming to effect. Yeah. That's fine. It's okay. We get another like three seconds of Jewel Man's music. So Jewel Man, uh, Jewel Man is the shield weapon robot master of this game. Jewel Man jumps when you jump, I believe. Yes, that's correct. Um, and using the Buster or really any weapon, you can knock off the jewels. I didn't actually even know he could do that. I've never seen that happen. <laughs> But it looks like Bobby is just kind of sneaking Buster shots through the shield. Actually, I actually recommend to use the Magma Bazooka as, as, as a backup. Do you? Because it'll do two hits per. So notice how Bobby is essentially manipulating Jewel Man, because Jewel Man jumps when you do. So Bobby's taking advantage of that to put Jewel Man in the right spot to get hit. Hey. Easy. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> New route, free world record. Bobby's got this. Yeah. So now we're going to be heading into Galaxy Man stage. We have the Jewel Shield. Uh, probably won't use it, but that's cool. <laughs> uh, we'll use Jewel Shield later, we'll see. I think. We'll see. We'll see what Bobby can come up with. Yeah, it's usually Slurpy Ninja that comes up with like all the swag strats. Me or Robo Ridley. Shout out to Robo Ridley. Shout, Shout out to Robo Ridley. That definitely uh, me, him, and Slurpee Ninja um, kind of like refined this route like uh, past like 2013, 2014, and onwards. Yeah. So. I go off as the pioneer, and then we kind of took his stuff and made it better. You know? Speaking of Robo Ridley, we have a $50 donation from Robo Ridley. Hey, he's, what's Yo. up, brother? He says, "Good luck to my Proto Man Nine, bro. The Black Tastic. Here's hoping for good Wiley Casino RNG and amazing run. You can do it, my dude." Shout out to backwards shield deflection. Use the tornado to skip uh, into that teleporter. The teleporters are one of the two gimmicks of this stage. Helicopter rides are the other. Helicopter one. ride! Easy. Shout out to L Rock. <laughs> so we have a mix in this stage of helicopter rides that help you go faster and helicopter rides that are intended to murder you. Uh, so Bobby is going to be using some and avoiding others. Uh, that being said, most of everything in this game is designed with Mega Man in mind, so Proto Man Slide can often uh, make its way around intended cycles of gameplay. So it's going to be pretty easy to dodge around the helicopters that we don't want to. Shoutouts to those like mini devil eyes. They explode, and then there's more friends. <laughs> they multiply. Uh, Slurpee, do you want to talk about the uh, boss that's coming up? Oh, Galaxy Man. So, uh, depend yeah, Galaxy Man has a couple of patterns he can do, and uh, usually he just wastes your time by flying in the air a lot. But if he does come at you, that's the that's the best thing he could do. So, so we're, that's we're the looking concrete shot. We're, we're looking for not one swoop, but two swoops. Two, two swoops. scoops. Two scoops. Two. two it's not raisins. Two scoops and I'll buy One. Bobby ice cream after this run. I love oh. ice cream! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Two scoops. All right, well, we got it. Got him. Well, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> got that ice so cream. That was the uh, that was the concrete shot, and you saw it get used one time before. Concrete shot is one of my favorite Mega Man weapons. Mm. Not only is it a weapon, not only can it freeze enemies in place in concrete, you can also stick it on walls and use it to help you platform. It's a really, really cool weapon. And there's the black hole that we were supposed to have for Jewel Man's fight, but hey, we got it now. It's all okay. Well, we'll see it used in the Literally recent. Literally so. just a black hole. Like <laughs> Now, Pugman stage, I think we probably need some pie time, because in Pugman stage, if you mess up a slide or any movement, then the block cycles get messed up because it's on a global timer, so... Uh... Yeah, in both Mega Man's 9 and 10, the uh, disappearing block cycles are uh, consistent throughout the stage, so Bobby is going to be moving very carefully here. Oh. You can be too early for that. that that's the kind of a uh, caveat about it. All right. Nice. Good backup strats. 
And you've got shadow clones, because this is a Ninja Gaiden game. Except they're not your friends this time. Note using... how they changed to Proto Man for, for Proto Man as opposed to Mega Man. Really cool feature. Uh, e tanks are? Yeah. E tanks? E tanks? <laughs> Why not? Safety E tanks. It is important to grab that E tank for the Wily fight later, so. Yeah, again, like the main caveats of this uh, category is that you do suffer double the damage and get knocked back twice as far. So, um, contact damage in this game is like more uh, akin to Mega Man 4 uh, this, body this contact This stopper damage. here can, can do over half of your health and damage, so you really don't want to don't touch him. No. This is Plugman. Uh, we're going to be using the Jewel Shield that we just picked up. In, in the first Pugman fight here, he always jumps to the center, so, so you're looking for... He jumps to the center, stands there, or he jumps again, so that's... Uh, he has multiple patterns in the refights, I'm not sure why, though. All right, now for this uh, long break for the Wily stages. The Wily stages are a complete gauntlet. Um, you start the first level with your full reservoir of weapons and life and what have you. Uh, however, they don't refill from stage to stage. And that it's exceptionally um, critical that you kind of balance your uh, weapon energy out, especially in, in Wily 4, where you have to have the refights done and also all three phases of Wily. Eyebrows. <laughs> um, but uh, as this transition, as we're going to the stage, uh, any more donations? Yes, uh, we have $1,000 from Dumple. Who says, glad to see Proto Man returning the, the ring to Mount Doom. Good luck and watch for orcs. Wait, hang on, that was Proto Man. Wow, I am so confused. <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> we appreciate your donation regardless. Mm -mm. So Bobby used um, my favorite strat in this game, which is to just use dual satellite at the beginning of this and just like slide right through. Yeah, so the, the main gimmick of this area is these uh, fan platforms that we're completely ignoring. You're intended to use Tornado Blow to lift them up, but we're just going to use Jet because speed. Nice little damage boost there on those uh, sleeping Gutsman tanks with big shields. Hey, I need that. Now, now that we have concrete for this dragon, we just uh, coil up to meet him. Oh, no, we just stay on Way the ground. Better. Easy! Yeah, so that's one really cool thing about the concrete shell that I forgot to mention. You can jump on it while it's in the air. It is a block of concrete. Um, so especially in, I believe, Wily 2, we're going to be seeing quite a bit of that. It's a really, really cool weapon. All of the weapons in this game are great. They did such a good job uh, designing things that are really useful. Yeah, amazing utility out of them, for sure. Do -do 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 -do. Mm -hmm. This song, song, Flash in the Dark. Dark. <laughs> We're just both gonna say that. Well, don't, don't want to start music. any debates now. I mean, hmm? you know, akin to Wily One stage music and all. So now Bobby has to be really careful to not get hit by these guys. Um, right. These are the spike pushers. Everybody's favorite boss. Yeah. So uh, another kind of a caveat of Proto Man is that when you have him at the regular and not having any weapon on him, he can only have uh, two busters on the screen at once. However. Uh, it might be a little bit of a developer oversight. When you do have the proto items out, uh, you're able to have uh, those three lemons on the screen at once again, making this fight insanely easy. I didn't want to uh, expend any of my jet. Uh, again, uh, they don't refill uh, between Wily stages. <laughs> those things hurt. <laughs> yeah, so then you want to jump right up to the top there so that Proto Man teleports out faster. So now it's time for We Are the Robots. Another 10 out of 10 song. Maybe Bobby will sing for us. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put me on the spot here. <laughs> <laughs> so this stage um, has a lot of really unique stuff going on. There's a lot of this vertical platforming. Uh, so we're going to be taking advantage of coil and jet and concrete shot a lot um, to get it through sections like that. Uh, some damage boosts here. Yes, that's as scary as it looks. Tis, tis. 
And then our other unique gimmick is these uh, camera enemies that create blocks. Here's the thing, though. Their blocks are just illusions, so you have to keep track of what blocks were on the screen when you started um, so that you don't accidentally uh, rely on one or attempt to avoid one that you didn't actually need to. Then we're going to be taking advantage of concrete to make some platforms for ourselves. That jump that's, is That's terrifying. also as scary as it looks. That's flowers? the hardest jump of the no, game, for okay. sure. <laughs> it's, it's very easy to clip the edge of that spike. I'm going to take a safety health up here because of the uh, big fight that's coming up next. Now we're underwater. You can see by the single bubble and how everything is blue. Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, j just how simple, you know, like kind of, you know, game design was back then. Yeah. Back 10 years ago when this game was released. That jump is scary. And but, you get to do more of them. Yep. But because the Proto Man has area, a fly top route, there is actually. Demand a much lot faster. of you. Uh, the ability to slide over one block gaps here. So here's a nice long section. Uh, Bobby's going to be taking advantage of Coil and Jet uh, to hopefully skip uh, part of this nice. kind of up and down winding section. Nice slide there, and you skip right into the middle to save quite a bit of time because climbing ladders in this game is very slow. Mash down the stomper. And now it is time Mega for Shark. what's the name of this boss? The Mega Mech Shark. Mega, Mega Mech Shark. Shark. Mega Mech Shark. So he, this this guy has uh, three phases: tail, body, and head. Um, however, he is actually successfully uh, all, all weak are, against uh, very pretty much like all of your to... weapons. And since uh, the trident, trident is uh, such a low weapon uh, use reserve, uh, we are able to kind of like spam it out. Now this is a bit. Tricky. This fight is a challenge. We're going to be throwing these kind of turnaround double shots. Easy. He made it look way too easy. I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this fight is so hard. And it's like, nah. Clipping, clipping those teeth on the underside of Mega Mech Shark is very dangerous. Like you see, you have... he just ran into him and lost almost half his health. So it's very dangerous. That's, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's much contact damage as a big mama. So yeah, and this then, guy is paper thin. Yeah, and then you give Mega Mech Shark a mouthful of delicious, nutritious tridents. And <laughs> done. <laughs> So uh, this is Wiley 3. There's not really anything that's going to be going on in this stage that's honestly worth talking about. Um, we have about two Gravity Well stages, um, which have you float up because, you know, Mega Man needs uh, auto-scrollers, obviously. Totally. But, um, this is going to be it. So uh, any more donations? Yes, we do. We have $250 from BZ Hamilton, who says, So proud to see you doing your thing, Bobby. Summon your power of 40s and fragging. <laughs> <laughs> when we get home. <laughs> $25 from Harmonic Tunes. Big shout out to Blacktastic. Your home city is rooting for you. Thanks, Adam. We well, have well, we're talking about Bobby's home city. Quick shout out to Buckeye Speed Bash. Squad back the home. The premier Ohio speed running event. Oh, and a quick shout out to uh, Tilo and Shan who are celebrating their 11th anniversary together. Hooray! And now, more auto scrollers. Yes, Take okay. it away, Mike. <laughs> we have $50 from Sweet Beeps who says, It's always great to see Bobby stream, and it's even better to see him in the spotlight at SGDQ. <laughs> Incentives go to the runner's choice. Well, we gotta see Cuphead, right? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this whole section was just for you to enjoy the music. Uh, this is the only thing that's worth mentioning. We're gonna pick this up because, again, um, we're running a bit low on reserves, as, as you'll, you can possibly imagine. But that is an M tank. Not only will that fill up all of our HP, but that'll fill up all of our energy tanks. Uh, especially, I'm just gonna be using this. And again, more vertical platform for us to like slide under, making this uh, stage a pretty easy breeze. Beautiful. Easy breezy. <laughs> 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 All right. This is the Twin Devil. So, those of you who know Mega Man Speedrunning know Yellow Devil variant kills are always extremely tense. So, I'm just going to let Bobby do this. He's going to be using Black Hole Bomb, pause canceling to fire it again and again and again to get this in one cycle. You got this, Bobby.
That kill is extremely punishing. It's this loses about 21 seconds. Yeah, it's it's a yellow devil fight. You have to do it just incredibly perfectly, or you lose. It's also tougher because Proto Man's buster is just a little bit lower to the ground. I think by like a few pixels. So, yeah, uh, Proto Man fires from like his hip, where Mega Man fires from like shoulder height. Yeah, like his sprite is shorter and a little bit wider. Um, also, his buster is actually a little bit shorter too. So. If you run Mega Man a lot, you really have to make a lot of adjustments for that. And so now we are moving into Wily 4. We're just going to have our boss refights. The gauntlet, as and it were. And then the gauntlet, and then three forms of Dr. Wily himself. Uh, first, we have this little mini stage here. Uh, the unique gimmick here is these laser beams, uh, which we're going to be damage boosting through a lot for the intended method, or not, uh, or the not. intended <laughs> method of placing a concrete shot in front of one of the, uh, I guess, emitters, like that. And we can just slide right through him. Remember, Proto Man takes a ton of damage from everything, so we can only do so much damage boosting. I recommend grabbing the safety health. Yeah, uh, definitely. Again, five tile gaps like that, hard to jump over. Um, that can be a run killer. You're on good pace and you miss that jump and you don't get the health on the refill. Yes, we get a run killer. Let's see if we'll get the two swoops again. Is Bobby getting extra ice cream? Oh, I, I'm buying an ice cream too. <laughs> I want oh, two <laughs> swoops. I want I do love me my swoops. Swoops, swoops hug and <laughs> So Jewel Man is going to be more random this time around. Nope. But good pattern. Pac-Man gave a nice pattern, yeah. Good pattern. So, uh, Bobby, what is uh, kind of the driving factor in how you're deciding to go about these refights in terms of capsule order? Um, just basically, I wanted to make it so I can slide across uh, the bottom floor uh, just as much as possible. Again, you got to utilize that slide and um, use that forward momentum to enter these capsules quickly. So here for the, uh, if you don't get a double hit, which nobody knows how those work, no. uh, you want to finish this fight with Magma. Because you go right into the Hornet Man fight with Magma, so. And once again, you have like the perfectly designed kill here. Three to three. And a couple charge shots and done, easy. So in this game, I guess it's worth mentioning with the refights, uh, how you get out of the room is grabbing the health. That drops, so Bobby wants to be close to the boss when it dies, so we can just slide right in there and grab that health. This is what the jewel fight is supposed to look like. <laughs> Pretty easy, yeah? Not the bees. <laughs> not the bees. Yeah, not only do we want to get out of these boss chambers as quickly as possible, however, we want to stay as topped up on health as much as possible. Uh, bees. Because again, we do suffer that double damage and double the knockback, and the three phases of Wily are no uh, easy feat uh, for Proto Man. And our final fight is Concrete Man here. And then we are going to be going head to head with the Wily Dinosaur and playing a rousing game of Volley Trident. Yes. Wily Dinosaur. Eat your Love veggies. it. So, this first phase, Wily is going to fire eggs, and uh, Bobby is going to be bouncing them back with the Trident. And spacing for this is incredibly important so that you. Uh get an egg hit every cycle. And then for the second phase, Wily is going to be moving up and down, left and right, firing arc shots of fire, and uh, Bobby has to hit Wily uh, up in the top part of the hitbox there to do any damage. And again, Bobby's health is extremely important here. Uh, with the final phase of this fight coming up, he wants to be very, very careful. And now we're going to switch to the plug ball. It's weakness. This is Wily's weakness. Welcome to the Wily Casino. The house oh. always wins. And that's why we got this. Yeah. Safety tank that uh, he grabbed in Pugman stage. Uh, time's going to be coming off uh, at the last hit of this boss. House always wins. So He's such a jerk. <laughs> He's such a jerk. The, uh, the Proto Shield can actually deflect those uh, those pink balls that he shoots. But um, I think I and like balls, time. But, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Um, was that nice? 3250? 
3250? I think that's pretty nice. So 30, and, all right. and these people seem to think Better so. Than I can do. So, very nice. Uh, nice. And uh, so, oh, shucks, guys. <laughs> Summer Games Done Quick 2018, you have just witnessed the world record in, uh, what was that? Jewel 4? Jewel 4th percent. Unique, unique <laughs> Jewel 4th new percent. route world record. <laughs> well, guys, um, yeah, that was... Proto Man 9, 10 years of Mega Man 9 out this year. So happy birthday, Mega Ooh, Man 9. Happy birthday. And um, again, if you, if you, if you want to uh, learn this game or pick up this game, it's readily available on all normal uh, current gen consoles, Legacy Collection 2. Um, hop on the Mega Man Discord, we'll uh, help you out. Be part of the crew. We're, we're always uh, looking for, for more people to, you know, to roll impart the dice. this knowledge with. Ooh. But. It's time for me to raise up on out of here. Um, I gotta oh. buy you ice cream. Let's go. Yeah, let's go get some ice cream. I gotta buy you ice cream and too. Also, <laughs> keep speed. glued to that seat though, because while I'm gonna be eating ice cream, you guys are gonna be watching a whole lot more Mega Man coming up next. All right, guys. Yeah, we got Z4 up next, right? Yeah. Bye bye. Well, thank you for that great run, uh, Bla Blacktastic. And we have a $40,000 donation from the Yeti. <laughs> and we have also reached over $300,000 from that donation. And they say, hey all, Yeti here. We're so happy to be back at Games Done Quick with more amazing teas from our incredible artists. This event it has always has such a wonderful feeling. This community is truly unique and magical. Thank you for all your support. We're happy to announce that we've raised 40,000 from t-shirt sales. You are the best. We have $5 from Foil Man who says, I like my speedruns the way I like my coffee. Covered in bees! Thanks for the Eddie Izzard reference. Ah, we have $250 from the 8-bit drummer and Chadia. Watching SGDQ together for the first time after getting married. Hashtag relationship goals. Thank you all for their entertainment and work for charity. Also, have you heard of Twitch Prime? Rock on! We have $50 from Half Coordinated who says, Hi Bobby, you're a cool good man. $50 from The Fef who says, Bobby is hands down the friendliest person I've ever met at a GDQ. I look forward to seeing him every time. This run is amazing. You're killing it. Keep it up. We have $50 from Omax who says, big ups to Blacktastic and shout out to my man Slurpee Ninja on the couch. Keep up the great work, dudes. We have $250 from GFX Ambassador who says, another great SGDQ. I look forward to both GDQs every year, and as a Houstonian, really appreciate the HGDQ for Harvey released relief to the Houston Food Bank. All the great causes every time. Thanks to all who make this happen. Uh, Zach166 donates $100 and just wants to say, I found out about this event and am, I am loving it. Great stream, great runs, and great fun. Thanks. We have $25 from Vicky Chan, who says, could you please make a shout out to my fiance, David? We have been watching together for two years now with many more games done quick in our future. Tell him that I say, Always save the animals. We have $10 from Michelle38 who says, I'm not a gamer, yet every time GDQ is on, I can't stop watching. I'm happy to donate to such a great cause.
We have $20, uh, sorry, $10 from Ashley 20. Shout out to Mikey, you're the best. Thank you very much. We have $5 from Van231 who says, I know people like saving the animals, but I'd rather save the sun. $5 to Donator for the Skyward Sword file name. I want uh, $25 from Kowise who says, I watched my friend Trout try to beat Mega Man X2 during our beach vacation, and he died so much it felt like summer games done slow. Here's $25 towards seeing how the game is meant to be played. It, we have a $10 from an anonymous donor. It's time for SDQ 2018 and more shenanigans. Shout out to the energetic audience for putting a smile on my face. Donation goes to remove that man's choice. We have $25 from Slickify, who says, always loving people, seeing people make Mega Man look easy, especially for a good cause. SGDQ hype! Okay, and we are going to have a quick little Twitch ad come up, so just stay in your seats for a minute. And we are back with more donations. We have $15 from Alzado, who says, hugs for all. We have $100 from Bismarck, who says, this is my sixth GDQ, and they just keep getting better. Keep up the great work and save the animals. Now we have more donation incentives than just save the animals, including bid wars, such as Simpsons Hit and Run, Choose the Language. Currently, German is winning at $3,160.99. We have Cal Castlevania Bloodlines character choice, which is a pretty close race. Currently, Eric Lacard is winning at $1,260. And John Morris is trailing with $840. We also have Castlevania Circle of the Moon, Fighter versus Magician. Right now, Magician Mode is winning with $1,141.10. And Fighter Mode is in second at $500. We do have a, an upcoming uh, donation goal, which is the Dragon Warrior 3 slime ending. It still needs roughly $2,000. It's currently at $5,692.11 out of $7,500. And don't worry, the animals bid war is still going on. If you want to save or kill the animals, currently saving as, is winning at $14,802.50, whereas kill the animals is not too far behind at $14,126.41. We have $35 from Jacobo the Jacobo, who says, 
The house always wins, baby. Great run, Bobby. We have $44.44 from Maddie Horror, who says, what you're doing is great. You're great at it. And I'm not a robot vampire. Promise. Keep it up. We have $100 from Dev203, who says, have to put my donation to Sonic 3 and Knuckles, one of the games I got for my birthday over 20 years ago and still frequently play on the Genesis that came with. One of my all-time favorites. We have $25 from Joseph Krumpak, who says, I always am excited for the GDQs every year, and I look forward to the Mega Man block more than anything else. Let the Blue Bomber show the other game blocks what hype is really like. Okay, and thanks everyone for sitting tight, because it looks like we are ready with Mega Man Zero Four 4 with the runner, New.